Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing a special bottle for sure and that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A121. Let's get into it. All right, so here's our bottle for this evening, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A121, which is of course the first release in the Barrel Proof line from Elijah Craig this year, 2021. But before we get into the bottle, let's first do a quick history of who Elijah Craig was and how this bottle came to be way down the line. Well, Elijah Craig was a Baptist preacher originally, preaching without a license. Now, because of this, uh, Elijah Craig was thrown into jail because that was illegal. But after he gets out of jail, he decides he didn't want to put up with that. So he moves west to what is now Georgetown, Kentucky. And in fact, he helps found that town. Uh, he actually helped found the college there, Georgetown College, uh, set up all kinds of things in that town, really got the town going. Elijah Craig is basically responsible for Georgetown, Kentucky. But on top of all that that he was doing, he also started distilling whiskey. In fact, the uh, college students of Georgetown would kind of poke fun at him for being a preacher as well as a major uh, figure in the town and also a whiskey distiller. And, uh, you know, since then, uh, Heaven Hill has acquired the brand name Elijah Craig and they have dubbed him the father of bourbon, which is highly debatable. Uh, if you read bourbon history at all, and you will see that that's not necessarily true. There's a lot of people that are kind of in that mix as being the father of bourbon, but Elijah Craig is probably one of them for sure. And he's also often credited with being the first to put whiskey in charred oak barrels, which is of course what makes it bourbon, or at least one of the factors that makes it bourbon. With all that said, that's kind of the breakdown of who Elijah Craig was and how we got this bottle. But as I said just a second ago, this is a Heaven Hill product today. And I always think that they do a great job with these barrel proofs. They do vary quite a bit from batch to batch, but I've never had a bad one. They are certainly all different and this is no exception. So let's get a little pour it here and see what we have to offer on the nose and taste. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing A121 near the end of the year when C921 is almost out, it's because I didn't get this bottle till about a month ago and uh, I wanted to let it open up and then I kind of forgot that I hadn't reviewed it. So we're doing it now. So there is the color and that is a nice dark amber as always, as you would expect from a good Elijah Craig product. Of course, this is a 12 year old product. So nice age and I can smell it already, man, just a prominent nose. I'm not even close to the glass. Let's get into this. Oh man, really rich, super rich brown sugar notes, nice charred oak. Just a really nice caramel note. Getting a nice dark chocolate in there. A really nice toasted oak. Lots of oak notes coming through. Hints of pepper. Getting a nice sweet cinnamon in there as well. There's a, just a general sweetness in, in there. I mean, it, it smells like like a candy bar almost like a dark chocolate caramel brown sugar maybe a little bit of like peanut butter definitely nuts uh actually i'm gonna say more like more like an almond maybe it's not quite as sweet as peanut but definitely some nut notes in there Maybe hints of citrus. Actually, I'm going to say more like something sweeter, like a tangerine. Not quite as sour as an uh, orange. Uh, a nice kind of like dark cherry note as well. Man, I could smell this nose for a long time. Uh, I think I kind of said similar things about B521, but 
I wanted to Craig Nines to start making perfume out of this somehow. I don't know how you go about doing that. It did get kind of sticky on the skin, I guess, but uh, excellent nose. And, and just, you know, just very bourbon. Uh, you, you know, as soon as you smell this, this is a bourbon. You, you would never confuse it with any other kind of whiskey. Uh, this is absolutely a bourbon nose. And just bourbon kind of at its best kind of nose. Man, that's excellent. All right, let's 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 move on to the taste. I, as I said, I could smell it all night, but let's get into our first sip. All right, so excellent first sip. Uh, lots and lots of just very typical bourbon notes, but in a really nice way. So you're getting lots of rich brown sugar, lots of caramel, lots of charred oak in there, some nice toasted oak, definitely some vanilla in that mix, some nice whipping cream. Um, one thing that is a slight ding I noticed there, uh, and that is that there is a pretty, not prominent, but it's definitely there, somewhat of an ethanol note. Now, granted, this is, let's uh, double check here, 123.6 proof. So, you know, you expect a good alcohol presence for sure. This is very much a barrel proof after all, but it, it seems more present than in say the B521 which I know that's a little bit lower proof, but I mean, just barely. Uh, actually, I have it right here, so let's see. Uh, this is 118.2, so we're talking about uh, five proof points, which is usually not enough to notice, but it, at least from memory, it seems like this is a little more alcohol forward than B521. And as you can see, I've had this open for a while, and I've had several uh, pours out of it, so, I think it's had plenty of time to open up, so I don't think that's the issue. But let's get one more sip in here and see what else we can find and see if maybe that alcohol note disappears a little bit, hopefully. Okay, so I tried to really focus on the mid palate and the finish that time. And the alcohol kind of rubbing alcohol note is definitely still there. It's not overwhelming, so I don't want anyone to think that that's the main note in the palate, but it's, it's certainly a little bit present, more than I would like. Um, but with that said, what I did notice on the mid palate as well is that you get this really nice kind of strawberry note. There's also like a nice raspberry note in there as well. I would say you're also getting like a nice roasted date note. Uh, for those of you that have been watching the channel, that always reminds me of my sister's wedding because they had bacon wrapped roasted dates there. And so I always think about that. And so I'm definitely picking up that roasted date note. Very nice. Uh, also, as you, right before you get into the finish, then it starts to change, and that's where you start to get that chocolate note that you kind of smelled on the nose. You get kind of this dark chocolate note, that's, and it's really nice, and then it kind of goes into more of a milk chocolate as it goes towards the finish. And then on the finish, you get that kind of strawberry note again, so it's kind of like a milk chocolate strawberry with a dash of cinnamon, because there is a little bit of cinnamon spice, so a a chocolate covered strawberry with a, just a sprinkle of cinnamon on it is what the finish is like to me. So all in all, a very nice experience. Like I said, the only thing that dings this just a little bit is that kind of ethanol note that I don't really care for, but still a very good bottle. So if these are still available in your area, I definitely recommend it. As far as the rating goes, I have to rate it pretty high as I do all the large Craig barrel proofs. So I'm gonna say, an 8.3. Uh, I don't think it's quite as good as B521, and I believe I rated that higher. And in fact, A121, B521, and several other really nice bourbons will be in the mix for best bourbon of the year. So we'll look forward to that near the end of the year. But in the meantime, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, hit that like button. If you've tried A121, then please let us know about your experience down in the comments. And if you want to see more reviews like this from me, you can click right here for more reviews. And if you really are enjoying the channel, you can subscribe right here. And until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.